when I get on the train, bro decide to jump in the tracks. Like, <laughs> All right, so like I told y'all, I'm gonna be doing better with the dates. So today is Sunday, September 17th, and it's about to be like six o'clock, so I'm about to eat real quick, but I wanna show y'all my food. But first, you feel me? Look what we got going on, bro. This is the back end stuff that y'all don't see. I know some people watching my videos might be curious to start their own YouTube channel. Ooh, so y'all already know, I went to my same favorite vegan spot and I tried something different, you feel me? Hold on, bro. So what bro was telling me is that this is like a coconut curry and it got chickpeas, I think like potatoes, carrots, other vegetables. And then he blessed me because I wanted to try the mac and cheese and lo mein, but it was extra. But he blessed me with that and still gave me cabbage. All right, y'all, let's see what's the vibes. Hopefully I don't spill this shit. Mm-hmm. Like a coconut curry, it's sanctioned, bro. Bro, the mac and cheese is better than I expected. Because, you know, bro, Caribbeans, we can't really make mac and cheese, bro. I'm not going to lie to you. Not too many Caribbean islands make mac and cheese. If they can, it's like, it's really, a, they're really a rare breed. What's good, y'all? Today, Tuesday, I'm outside, finally. I'm glad I came outside, bro. It reminds me to be present and just to enjoy the vibes, like the sounds of New York, even though it's overstimulating. But if you don't let it overwhelm you, it can be peaceful too, in a sense, like just watching all the different people. It's so much going on at once that you can see people eating on their balcony, somebody buying plants. Somebody else walking a dog, somebody doing cartwheels, some shit. So even though I don't want to be here, you feel me? I just try to find different moments to feel grateful and that's changed my life tremendously doing that. Even being grateful for something as simple as recording outside, like I would have never done this like years ago. You feel me? So I'm just glad I'm seeing the growth and being present and just embracing this because as much shit as I talk about leaving and all of that, once I'm gone, I already know that nine times out of ten, I'm not going to come back here. It's Wednesday. You feel me? I'm doing better with the dates. I that, again, I should not be eating these. My excuse is Trader Joe's ran out of my chocolate date bar. So that's what I'm going with right now. Today is Friday. It's like two o'clock in the morning, three o'clock in the morning. Got a lot on my mind. On this journey, you feel me? Since I've paid attention to like my cycles, remember I told y'all in one of my vlogs where like I was just reflecting and I was paying attention to like the mistakes, etc., that I have made and the self-sabotaging and how it pops up. Like, I realize the thoughts and the energy that's associated with that. I see how in those previous situations, how I allowed myself to play victim or to self-sabotage based on fear. And I didn't acknowledge it. You feel me? I always justified that if you don't have accountability, you won't grow. You'll always blame something externally on where you are at in life. You feel me? When ultimately it's all up to you. You can't control your environment. You can't control other people's actions, but you can control yourself. You feel me? You can't control how you react to situations and how you decide to move forward. You know? All right, y'all. Today is Friday, bro. We are finally at the end of this car journey. So if you've seen some of my earlier videos, I mentioned how I'm selling my car. They're two months later, two months of frustration, stressing, because if you don't know, I mentioned it in that video is that I didn't have the title and that caused me a lot. I lost out on money. I lost that on time, you get what I'm saying? But we're not gonna harp on that. But yeah, y'all, so everything I talked about earlier, it went through. Like when I get a chance to sit down and I'm not outside, I go into further detail. Buddhism, a lot of people claim that we cling to our personalities uh, in the same way a person would cling to a pole over a 
floor covered in razor blades because the Jesus. experience of having a self or an identity for a lot of people is preferable to the experience of merging into everything because merging into everything is death and a lot of people don't want to die so it's really curious though you know there's a lot of like exercises designed to move you out of that attachment to your bodily identification because it's not just what you're wearing it's your body you, people think they're their body that's one of the first things you learn is you're not your body you just think you're that's what you are you're not your body any more than you're a pen you're not your body any more than you're uh, as a airplane or you're not your body any more than you're your car it's just a vehicle within which you're currently experiencing the universe it's really trippy you know one thing i had to learn was that it's unrealistic to expect a different outcome by reliving the same sequence of events and if you choose to repeat the same cycle but you want it to have a different ending you have to at least change the narrative when you do it again this time laugh in the places where you cried Create stability where there was disruption. Demand accountability where there was flexibility. Because the reality is you can't do the same thing over and over and expect anything to be different without making a change. It's no way when I get on the train, bro decide to jump in the tracks. Like, <laughs> all right, so let me put y'all on, right? I'm on the train. I'm over here dozing off. I'm like maybe four or five stops away from the crib. The dispatcher, if you've never been on a New York train, you feel me? They tell you what's the stops, if they stop, why they stopping, etc. He like, yo, it's a delay. It's a accident in the front. I'm like, all right, this is nothing I've never seen before. You feel me? So boom, like 10 minutes go by, 15. I'm like, all right, this is a little bit long for this time. You feel me? Like, what's going on? They're like, yo, it's an accident. We gonna go cart by cart and let y'all off. I'm like, that has never happened to me. Usually if it's an accident, we just stay in there. But like letting us off cart by cart, never seen that. I'm like, all right, bro, I'm gonna just get on the next train. I'm assuming they're gonna do what they always do. Ambulance gonna come, pick the, pick the dude up. You feel me? Maybe they sick. A dude come walking up. He like, yo, they told everybody to get off both sides, I think. So when bro said that, I didn't even wait to confirm. I'm like, all right, that's the universe confirming because I just had that thought. I'm like, I'm not come up. I just seen, you feel me? Mad fire trucks, mad, all of that. So I already knew off rip just from being in New York that they wasn't going to let no bus come in and that by the time a bus come in, they going to have to reroute to walk from Utica to Clinton and Washington on the sea line. If you're not from New York, bro, that's basically like a good amount of walk, but hopefully everything is all right. Now for the good news though. All right, so like I told y'all earlier in the clip, yes, I, my car is gone. I love you forever, baby. You got me through you. My, you was my one and only, and you did what it did. You didn't give me no problems. I had some flat tires, but other than that, I ain't have no issues with her, and I'm extremely grateful for that experience. You feel me? That being said, everything is in motion now. But yes, bro, I'm excited. I was literally writing that down. Yeah, and y'all don't even have no idea. I'll, I'll probably screenshot it for y'all and show y'all. But I'm in the process of buying an iPad because I need that to further realize my vision for the... What's good, y'all? It's Sunday. I just want to end off the vlog, right? I didn't do much this weekend just because the weather has been ass. I'm still working on my two projects and things like that. So I've been doing that. But as far as going outside, nah. As for right now, I'm going to just finish planning out my week. If y'all want to see a video like that, let me know. Because, like, every Sunday, I take time out of my day and I plan the rest of my week. You feel me? It helps keep me organized so I'm not, like, aimlessly going about my day. Like, I've accomplished so much since I've implemented that. You feel me? I'll talk to y'all tomorrow. Take off the fufu. Take off the couch. Take off the Wi-Fi. Take off the money.
foam, take off the car loan, take off the flex and the white loss. Take off the weird ass jewelry, I'ma take these steps, then I'm taking off top off. Take off the fabricated streets and the microwave memes, it's a real world outside. Take off your idols, take off the runway, take off the Cairo. Take off the Sandro, pay five days, pay, take off the meal, have a Take off the fuck flat, take off perception, take off the cop with the hot Take off the Lamborghini, take off the Maserati. Take off the fuck flat, take off perception, take off the cop with the hot pad. Take off the fuck flat, take off the hot pad. Take off the fake thing, take off the fake boat, take off the humble cocky.